Welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Today, I have another NU match, and uh, I brought a pretty interesting new team. I kind of just threw some stuff I had in my boxes together. I got a Tauros, which is Choice Scarfed. Um, you've seen the Uxie. Uh, the Muck is my Muck. We got an Specs Electrode. I have an Assault Vest, Regirock, and a Dugong that puts in work. And uh, John over there has a pretty threatening-looking team. Um, that Dusknoir I'm kind of afraid of, and I'm also afraid of that Shedinja, because <laughs> I honestly don't have much for that damn Shedinja. But um, let's just get this started. So, I wasn't really sure who he wanted to lead off with, and Yuxi kind of looked like the best option for me, so I tossed out Mixi, not you, me, and um, he leads off with his Hariyama, which is pretty nice. So I get the uh, I get the typing from the start, and he's going to go ahead and go for the fake out on the first turn, which is going to do like absolutely nothing, because Yuxi is so damn, this, this Yuxi is so damn defensive, it's unbelievable, but um, yeah, so I flinch. Now I'm going to go ahead and predict him to switch out as I believe I just get up my rocks on the first turn, just because it's nice to have rocks out, I know he does have that Shedinja around, and uh, he's actually going to bring the Shedinja in right now, and uh, just so he can, you know, bring it in safely without just dying upon impact of the rocks, so that thing's pretty scary, I know it can either start Will-O-Wisping, it can start Will-O-Wisp, it can like start swords dancing he, he basically knows that i don't have an attack on him so he knows i'm gonna switch i honestly predicted a will-o-wisp here as i go into triangle he goes for the shadow claw which actually was a pretty solid play on his part just you uh, <laughs> know because triangle does not enjoy any type of damage he can't take two hits from anything and uh electro does not have an attack on this thing so my option here is i can go into muck i know i can take some shadow claws just really hoping that he doesn't want to go for the will-o-wisp because muck is going to come in handy later um, he goes for the Shadow Sneak here as he knows I'm going to have the Shadow Sneak, and I was actually honestly expecting the Shedinja to have um, the Focus Sash, but it actually doesn't. The Shadow Sneak is going to kill it, and look at how fast that thing dies. 1 HP, just snap, that thing is dead as hell, and uh, the already dead bug is dead again. So Muck's looking pretty solid over here. He took a little bit of damage from that that Shadow Claw and that Shadow Sneak, but he's he's chilling. Now he brings out this Torterra, and this Torterra is actually quite a problem to me in this match because it can destroy a lot of my stuff. So I have to pre I have to predict the Earthquake. I gotta go into Yuxi, and um, that is what I do here. But honestly, I don't have much that Yuxi can do against this thing. I know he can hit me with some Wood Hammers, but honestly, it's not gonna be in his best interest because that's gonna hurt him, and it's not gonna do much to me as I can get some Psychics off and stuff. So he's gonna go ahead and switch into his Dusknoir, and I'm like, okay, this thing's a little bit scary. What do I do about this thing? And I was like, I know. I'm gonna U-turn, and uh, so I U-turned on the switch so I can get the matchup, and I figured, what's the best matchup against this damn Dusknoir? I came to the conclusion that Dugong was ready to get some motherfucking action. I know that these things can sometimes, like, power up punch and just be kind of, like, lame like that, but I just go in here. I'm a bold, max HP, max defense, <laughs> Dugong named Club Me, which you, you're, you're a dick if you club a seal. This thing's fucking adorable. Um, so he goes for the Shadow Punch right there, and look at how much damage that did. That did, like, absolutely nothing. I get it all back with my leftovers, and Club Me is looking pretty solid over here. I honestly don't have any reason to not set up more stockpiles and try to get a nice little... Nice little wallage going on here. So I go for the stockpile again as he just goes for the curse. So he stabs himself in the, in the fucking head and it uh, cuts his own HP, but it lays a curse on me, which is a real bummer because um, that curse actually kind of takes its toll later on. But uh, so yeah, look at, look at that. It almost looks like I'm getting clubbed right there. That's not, that's not funny. <laughs> Come on, Dust Noir, you're a dick. So I go ahead and encore him on the, on the, uh, on the curse just so he can't get any more attacks off on me and uh, just because Encore Dugong is hilarious and uh, so yeah he's stuck in the curse there again I decide that I'm gonna go for the ice beam to just try to get some damage because this Dugong is out here with two stockpiles although the curse is doing way too much damage that is the only thing that could have stopped this Dugong right here had that Dusknor not had curse this Dugong would be just fucking shit up. So he's going to go ahead and switch into his Hariyama, which I actually probably should have predicted and switched out. But I was like, no, this 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 Dugong is way too cool. So I just go ahead and uh, Ice Beam that thing to the face. It actually does a, reason, a decent chunk. And I was like, okay, all right, Dugong. I see you putting in work. Um, right here, I actually kind of thought after getting clubbed right here that he was going to go for the fake out and just try to get that damage. So I actually stayed in and uh, just went for another Ice Beam. Turns out I outspeed it because he doesn't go for the fake out. And he actually just tries to go for the close combat to kill me. So... That's kind of a bummer. Um, you know, at least Dugong kind of put in work. I fucking love this thing. I don't care what you say. Dugong is badass. So, Club Me dies, and now I have a free switch in on this Hariyama, so I'm like, what do I do? Gotta bring in Triangle. He hits hard with special attacks. Um, honestly, I figured a Thunderbolt would have killed at this point, so I was like, okay, he'll probably know that, and he's probably gonna want to switch out. But then I realized he has a damn Torterra, so the Torterra catches my Volt switch, and um, that's kind of a bummer. I actually thought I, for a second I had Hidden Power Ice on this Electrode, um, I could have predicted that, but actually then remembered it was Hidden Power Grass, so I would have looked stupid, but, you know, whatever. So, I go into Yuxi here, as I know he's probably just going to want to go for the Earthquake, you know, 
Meeks, he's all floating around and shit. He does not care. Look at him leaning back, flying around. He does not give a shit. So I go for the Psychic uh, just to get some damage, as I know this thing's probably not going to be able to hurt me, really, with a wood, wood hammer. Um, so the Psychic does a decent chunk, and then the wood hammer does not do much to me at all, as he gets hit by the recoil, which brings him to the point where my next Psychic would kill it. And this Yuxi is just coming in so clutch in this match. It's weird, this thing never actually does this well, but in this match, he was just fucking going crazy. So I go for the U-turn, actually thinking that he was going to switch, knowing that that next Psychic probably would have destroyed him, but he stayed in, and um, I was like, oh, okay, alright, fine. So I know he's probably going to go for the uh, the Wood Hammer again, so I'm able to safely bring in Muck, as he just goes for a damn Synthesis, and I was like, well, shit, I should have just left Yuxi in at this point. This is... <laughs> That's stupid, and Muck can actually get just get destroyed by an Earthquake right now, so I, I have actually, absolutely no reason to not switch into Yuxi here. So I go, I go ahead and do it, Meeksy comes out, and uh, guess what, he catches an Earthquake, so that is, uh, that is perfect, Yuxi's kind of doing his thing here, levitating around and shit, so, I'm getting my leftovers, which is awesome, because it's bringing me back to, like, full HP after that last wood hammer, and, uh, this Torterra really can't do much to me, he can sit here and try to synthesis all day, but he's not gonna get him nowhere, so, he decides to switch, he goes into his Armaldo, probably because it has a clean x scissor that it can uh, fuck me up with, but uh, I go for the Psychic, as it does a really decent amount of damage also. I actually almost expect all Armaldos to be Assault Vests nowadays, but this one does not look like it is, um, considering how much that damn Psychic did. So, I'm gonna go ahead and U-turn out, do not, do not want to take an x scissor from this thing, because um, clearly Yuxvi is my most valuable player at the moment, so you gotta keep him around and shit. So, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my Lime, as I know that I can take any attack this thing wants to throw at me, and then uh, after that turn, go ahead and kill him with like an Earthquake, or even a return at this point would actually, uh, would definitely kill it. So the X-Scissor does less than half. I went for the Pursuit, actually thinking he might want to switch and save his Armaldo. Did not work out for me, as you'll see. He lived it with like 1 HP, and he's able to get a Stone Edge off, which leaves me at 9 HP, which is fine. So I was like, okay, at least I didn't die. That's that's perfect. So I go for the Pursuit again, and the Armaldo is dead. So I'm Choice Scarfed into Pursuit, which kind of sucks, but uh, he's just going to bring out his Armaldo. Arm fucking shit. There ain't no goddamn Armaldo. That's a Hariyama. He's going to bring out his Hariyama, scare me out with a Fake Out. And uh, he's going to scare me out with that fake out. Would you look at that? Um, so I'm going to bring out Meeksy. Now I can take everything this thing wants to hit me with. Unless it has some sort of like payback or something. That would be probably his best bet. So the fake out's not going to do a damn thing. Yuxi is just eating shit up today. This little gold floating motherfucker right here you do not want to play games with. He will wall the shit out of you. Although he's just a little pixie. He's, he's a pretty big wall. So... I go for the U-turn, as uh, I knew his Hariyama probably wasn't going to want to stay in against me, unless he did have the payback, in which case uh, I would have gotten screwed, but he doesn't, so I go for the U-turn. Torterra comes in, takes quite a bit of damage from that, and that is looking pretty solid, because now I get a switch in on this uh, on this matchup, as I decide to bring out Tauros, and um, luckily there's no rocks up, because that would have uh, that would have been a bummer. So here I go for the Zen Headbutt, just so I can uh, maybe try to, I don't, I don't even know, if I, I just want to lock myself into Zen Headbutt, but then I remember that Hariyama is just going to come in and fake me out anyway. So, it didn't really matter what I locked myself into, to be quite honest, the Hariyama is going to come in, get stuck by a couple of Stealth Rocks, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and save Lime for later again, as long as there's no Stealth Rocks around, I'm going to keep switching this boy on in. So I'm going to Meeksy again, just because I was like, I have no reason to not keep switching into Yuxi, honestly. He decides to go for the belly drum, and that was actually that was actually really interesting. Had he gone for that earlier, that would have been quite interesting. That would have been, damn. I want to see a belly drum Hariyama be used. Somebody make that shit happen. So I go for the psychic. It's definitely gonna kill the Hariyama, and uh, we are looking pretty solid over here with my Yuxi. Still getting that leftovers. Still looking healthy as shit. Look at that, full health, full health Yuxi. Most defensive motherfucker around. Now he brings in his Dustnor, which is probably would would have been his best bet to kill this Yuxi. He probably should have um, tried to conserve that guy just to uh, take care of my Yuxi here. But looks like my Dugong took care of that thing. So I go for a Psychic. It's definitely gonna kill that uh, that Dustnor. And Yuxi is still just fucking taking names out here. Still. <laughs> Now he's going to bring out the Tauros, and I honestly didn't really have a switch that I wanted to uh, bring in to take a damn attack from this thing. So I was like, you know what, let's actually just see how defensive Yuxi is. You know, we'll just put it, we'll just put him to the test here. So he goes for the Thrash. Stab Thrash from a Tauros. Why did that do, like, no damage? I, I don't, I don't understand. I mean, under a damage count, a uh, Tauros that potentially is jolly and um, doesn't have a life orb. I mean, it should do, like, upwards to, like, 25%, 30%. I don't know, I don't, I don't get it. I just, I just really don't get it. I'm gonna go ahead and switch into Mount Rushmore right now because Ram Mount Rushmore has not gotten any action. He's about to fuck some shit up. I take this thrash like a beast, and then uh, I get to show off my nice little drain punch action here. He gets confused, which is uh, actually pretty lucky for him, so he can switch his move. But I actually believe he hits himself in confusion. Sorry about that, stupid Tauros. You shouldn't have hit yourself, bro. 
should not have hit. I don't, how do you? How does Toros even hit himself? I, I don't. I don't get it. I do not get it at all. But Drain Punch is gonna go ahead and kill it. Rushmore is gonna eat that shit up. Get himself back to full. And that is going to be the end of the match, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you, John, for the game. Those were some uh, some Yuxi shenanigans. That thing literally walled like your whole entire team. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed, and I will be back with more uh, Wi-Fi battles. See you.